So in this video, I just wanted to talk about fanboys for anything really, but specifically about Xbox and PlayStation 4 or 5. It just seems like there's so many of them that are just so opinionated and they despise anything for the competition for whatever reason. And they only love what they want to love. I mean, it's, they're not new. Fanboys aren't new. They've been around for a while. But at the same time, why do they exist in the first place? Like, I mean, it's one thing to prefer a company over another company. But to be this passionate about it, it makes no sense. And on one hand, I think it might be a ploy or a disguise so they can get attract people to them um, and get people on their side. On the other hand, I think people are just so addicted or pulled over by uh, this company because they've invested so much time and money in it. I mean, buying a console is expensive. Buying games is expensive. And if you devoted a lot of money and time into a platform over however long your entire life, of course you're going to be really, really fighting tooth and nail for it. And it's just, I have had both PlayStation and Xbox before. One Nintendo system. And I can say both well, are pretty good, Xbox and PlayStation. I mean, I currently have the PS4 Pro right now and the Xbox One X. They both play games really well, all except for the PS4 Pro. The PS4 Pro is so loud. It sounds like a jet engine. And my Xbox One X is in the same entertainment center as that. And it doesn't make hardly any noise. Um, they're both pretty good. Uh, obviously, PlayStation has some more exclusive games that are pretty high quality, but it's not like the Xbox doesn't have any games at all. The Forza Horizon 4, that's a great game. If you haven't played that game, I would highly recommend it. You don't even have to be big into racing games, but it's an open world racing game in the UK, uh, Great Britain, with beautiful landscapes, great graphics, a ton of cars, and a ton of things to do with the game. It's kind of addictive, and that's exclusive to you know Microsoft platforms. And if you're a console gamer, then it would be, you know, adding to that list of exclusives. On top of that, Game Pass. Game Pass is great. I mean, you can try out so many games for for free for however many days when you sign up. Or $10 for one month. You could play, during quarantine, all these games in there. AAA games, newly launched games, uh, games that are backwards compatible and get your money's worth for $10. It's a great thing. And it's something that is pretty revolutionary. Um, and on top of that, Xbox One X has better graphics. So that, that's the plus. I mean, it's just, it's quieter. It has Game Pass and it has Forza Horizon 4 and all the backwards compatibility. People act like, oh, I buy, I buy consoles for new games. I mean, that's true but it has all the AAA games played better. It's got some great first party games, uh, Halo Master Chief Collection for one, and Forza Horizon 4. On top of that, you can't just leave past great games just stuck in the past or you can't play them ever again unless you want to carry around many different old systems and you got to find the actual physical copy of the game which can get lost or damaged. And on top of that, the newer TVs, they don't have component you know, inputs them, or at least a lot of them don't. Mine doesn't. So it's like, it's so convenient to be able to put, play these old games or the desks if you have them for 360 or some original Xbox games into your system and play it on much better resolution, much better performance. I mean, if it weren't for this, this feature, I pretty much wouldn't be able to play Dead Space at all, which is one of my favorite games of all time. So that's always a plus. So both systems are good. I mean, they have their pros and cons. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a matter of preference. At the end of the day, they're both good systems and there's no reason to get into fights over it. There, there's much bigger things in the world going on right now besides which, which video game system is better than the other. I mean, talk about first world problems. Thanks, this is Matt.